Uh, hello everyone, Anna. this is my second video. Uh, this tutorial is going to be about uh, patrollers in your game. And your mission is just, you know, to make them look like, bring some kind of realism to having a guard just walking by and um, trying to, you know, just make it look more interesting for your game. And the way it works is uh, you really don't have to import uh, or add any script to your song file or to your script at all. What you do have to do is spawn an AI like any other AI. You have a trigger that triggers him and he will spawn. Okay. And um, in the entity windows, in the certain and there's one particular key value that you gotta put and uh, it has to be script patroller one now um, that would turn your AI into a patroller make sure your AI spawner box is checked because once you hit that trigger that's what's gonna spawn him <coughs> I have added additional um, key values and that's just me uh, script for spawn one forces the AI to spawn regardless if the player is looking at it or not. You know, usually the the AI will not spawn if the player is looking at the location where it is going to spawn. So usually it won't spawn, but we're forcing it. So we put script for spawn one. Okay. Then there's script long death, which basically when you shoot an AI, he tends to drag out his death or take a while before he dies. I hate that. I really don't like it, and it's annoying. So I'm disabling that with script long death zero as a, its value. <coughs> Another thing I want to do is I don't want the AI to spawn and know who its enemy is right away. So script no enemy info at one so so making it one makes it true that the AI ha has no enemy info um, there's also script pacifist so that the AI is not that you know when it spawns he's not angry and wants to attack so we make him a pacifist we set that to one and next you have to set his path Okay, and there's two ways you could go either with, with the path node way and uh, he could follow that but know that with the path node way if let's say I make him go all the way through here and right there and then I want and then I could make him go over here and here and here I cannot make him loop in a circle you cannot loop that path over so that's where script origins come uh, very in handy. Mine's um, I cut it coded it. So the white represent just a regular path where he's in a pass by. Um, the blue represent where he's in a stop and play a certain animation. Now if we take a look at the patrol uh, script underscore patrol dot GSE found in the raw maps, this is what handles the um, the the way the a AI acts and behaves. So if in our patrol, in our script origin or path node, wherever we have the value of script animation and then followed by a string. In this case, in this case, is stretch. Um, he will play. Let's see, this animation of you know patrol start or something on a patrol IO stretch that's the end. and I'm making help plan there's six uh, strings you could only use there's the pause and what pause does it plays patrol idle and then underscore followed by a number from one to six so it randomly from one to six will play patrol idle number one or number two or number three or number four or number five or number six etc and this is just to keep it fresh, to keep it random, you know. And then if you if you instead of using stretch, you use um, turn 180, 
I mean instead of pause instead of pause and use turn 180 is another one basically when he reaches uh, here it is right here when he reaches this he's gonna stop and turn 180 and come back around or something no follow path then there's the case where if you put smoke he'll stop and take a smoke and that's all the way down here and then uh, there's a little stretch that was the first one a uh, check phone he'll stop and check his phone phone and he'll stop and actually have a conversation on the phone so you know it's only six values that you could use okay so I have six six blue oranges that's one two three four five six okay and um, you do not have to add anything to the your song source oh, I mean you do have to add the animations okay so for example I've already gone ahead and added them let's see one of my controllers they're all here okay and you have to also add them into your level so let me see um, oh, they're right here so my test group and here it goes so they're all here in a special thread that I call at the beginning thread patroller you know and then above the patroller we put the animatry that we're using using animatry generic human in this case and so we put patroller and put this info this info in case you uh, wanna find out where it is it's also in the underscore patrol GSC and they clearly tell you in there the following should be added to your level and then file and fast file you know so these have to be added in there okay that's very important otherwise he will not play the animations so uh, with that being said let's go ahead and look at it in the map how a patrol to work.